All right, so we are here with Alexander Shkolnik. Perfect. Is that correct pronunciation? Perfect. Uh, from Liquid Piston, and congratulations on winning the, the big prize here today. Thank you. Uh, so if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about Liquid Piston and what it is that you brought today and what uh, helped you win. Sure. So uh, very happy to be here, and thanks again for, for the prize. We're, we're uh, really thrilled about that. Uh, so Liquid Piston develops innovative power solutions based on a new kind of rotary combustion engine. Uh, it's much smaller and lighter than a diesel engine. We're about 10 times lighter and smaller, actually and about double uh, the fuel efficiency of a typical gasoline engine or turbine. So it's really a, a, a great power solution for UAVs or other applications. You said this is the first type of new engine in something like 80 years. So yeah, what so do you mean by that? It's actually based on a new thermodynamic cycle, which we call the high efficiency hybrid cycle. Uh, the, the cycle is something that really hasn't changed in well over 100 years. So um, our approach is really rooted in, in the physics of the problem. Um, we, we're changing the, the cycle, and in doing that, we have to kind of rethink the entire combustion engine. So we came up with this rotary engine here. It looks quite different than uh, any other engines out there, and uh, even an engine architecture is really something that hasn't changed in several generations, right? The last uh, new engine architecture is probably the Wankel that came out in the, in the 1950s. And you said it only has two moving parts. Okay. Yes. So it has a rotor and a shaft. Um, and yet it's a three-cylinder or three-chamber uh, four-stroke engine. Uh, very few components. Uh, we have a couple different versions. This particular one is spark ignited. We have a larger version as well that's uh, a 40 horsepower diesel engine that's under development. And we're working with uh, the Army. Right now this engine right here is being inserted into, uh, actually it's a power supply for the M777 howitzer. And that's a, a hybrid electric application where we're charging a battery pack uh, powering the howitzer. Um, we're collaborating with a couple of partners there, some uh, General Atomics and HET Global. And we have a second program, which is uh, the larger diesel engine, 40 horsepower, and that, that's uh, funded by DARPA. Okay. And this is, the applications for this would include any type of place where an engine would be needed, so air, ground, yes, automated vehicles. Exactly. We, we can replace uh, pretty much engines anywhere. It's a $300 billion a year uh, market. We're, we're initially focused on military applications and aerospace. Uh, you know, we have to start somewhere and it's, it's a lower uh, volume uh, space. So um, that's kind of where we're starting. Uh, but eventually we can go anywhere that engines are used today. Okay. And so what are you looking for sort of as the next step for the company? So um, we, we have a couple of uh, contracts with uh, DARPA and with the Army. We're looking to continue those efforts and uh, the engine is still under development. Right? It's a TRL-6, uh, which means it still has some development to undergo in order to be inserted into an application. So what we're looking to do is to continue that development effort. Um, we're here raising money and connecting with investors, so uh, we're, we're, we're raising a Series A round for that. Um, and hopefully that will take us to a, a pre-production prototype in partnership with somebody to take this uh, to the next level. Okay. All right, well thank you very much and congratulations again. Thank you very much.